If you have tried or owned a P Royal Oak, you would know that they are indeed beautiful timepieces that not just offer exceptional pleasure and joy on the wrist, but also very high-end experience with even the brushing and polishing on the case and the bracelet that showcases what high-end horology and fine watchmaking truly mean. As much beautiful and exceptional the Royal Oak is in every size, dial and material, you might already have found that they are far too flashy, blingy and shiny, all in a beautiful way. This however does mean that our Royal Oak is not a very versatile watch and due to its shimmering and shiny characters, it is loud. It seeks attention and it attracts the eye that otherwise is not even into watches. Another element with Royal Oak being on the bracelet is that it is also very easy to scratch and break the continuity of the brushed lines of the bracelet. There's then bezel for every Royal Oak that is either of steel or precious metal, meaning that if you accidentally hit the watch head against basically anything, you would very likely end up with a deformed bezel, case or the bracelet, or maybe all of them all together. And then when you do want to enjoy the Royal Oak experience, but in a more casual, sturdy, versatile and sporty feel, form and flesh. The Royal Oak Offshore is where you would be looking at for your next watch purchase. There's multiple aspects and differences with the Offshore that make it far more sturdy and versatile watch than our Royal Oak and I will be discussing those in this video. First of all, the offshores mostly come with straps, which not just add comfort and versatility, but it also makes the offshores more easy to wear for casual and daily wear. The Royal Oak bracelets are absolutely beautiful, but they blink and shine like a jewelry, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but that does make the Royal Oak a flashy and overall a loud watch. The offshores, while still being bigger in size, due to the strap has less flashiness and blinginess on offer, making it a more easy watch to wear. This offshore new model, as in this video, also comes with quick strap change system, meaning you can replace the straps within a few seconds and without the use of any tools, making it a lot more interesting watch than any of the previous models. Another element that makes the offshore or this particular model very interesting and versatile is the ceramic bezel, which means you have the peace of mind that you can't dink or dent it if you ever inadvertently hit it against an object. What AP do really well is the finishing and the way you see and enjoy those brush lines on the ceramic bezel here is a beauty to behold. The recessed screws on the bezel continue to remain of white gold, so the elements of jewelry and luxury are still there. This is also first of its kind offshore with a smoked top dial that makes it very interesting, especially with those black subdials and black hour markers adding to the overall sporty look and feel of the watch. The offshores come with mega tapestry pattern on the dial and if you didn't notice already, the engraved lines here splitting the tapestry pattern are more angular and different than previous offshores, making this all new model a more modern looking in its form and looks. What the new offshores do exceptionally well is how better they wear on the wrist. Technically, the size of the case here is only reduced by 1 mm, but this all new offshore wears even better than the previous 42 mm model offshores. For reference, if you measure the lug to lug height of 42 mm divers internally, it is 49 mm, but if you measure the same for this new 43 mm offshore, it is 47.5 mm, that is 1.5 mm smaller. Also, as the straps on the offshores 
don't stick straight down, rather they flare out. The maximum span that they flare to on the previous 42mm divers is 56mm and if you compare that with the new 43mm model, the maximum flare is only 54mm. So again, although it is 1mm bigger in size than the 42mm offshore, it actually contours to the wrist better. This naturally does not mean that it looks smaller too because its case size or the face is still 1mm bigger but that doesn't come at the cost of wearability. For reference, my wrist size is 6.5 inches and the wristband is 55mm. Another key achievement with this model is that it offers the introduction of AP's latest integrated flyback chronograph movement, the caliber 4401 into the line. This is truly the first fully in-house movement that AP have offered in the offshore range. The caliber 4401 is a self-winding chronograph movement featuring a column wheel and flyback function, which means it offers the wearer to reset the chrono hands without having to stop the movement and on the go. The movement further comes in a beautiful display case bag and offers all the hot horology characters, offering 70 hours of power reserve by operating at 4 Hz. The all-new AP Royal Oak Offshore 43 in smoked top dial is indeed an interesting and a joyful watch with many modern attributes that make it a futuristic offering from the brand, including but not limited to quick strap chain system, a ceramic bezel, in-house and fully integrated flyback chronograph movement, a smoked top dial in the flesh of steel that will probably never be out of fashion or time. It is a watch that is also more about the case shape and how enjoyable it is due to the bigger and bolder looks especially with those pushers. It is not a small watch and it definitely is not for the flights under the radar. It is a watch if you really want to enjoy it without any care and worry about who will notice you wearing a masterpiece like this with finish, form and looks, yet versatility and everyday wearability.